Here we go. Hey everybody, uh, Joshua Palmatier again here. Um, I am an epic fantasy writer for Daw Books, but more importantly, I am the founder of a small press called Zombies Need Brains. And we produce science fiction and fantasy themed anthologies. Uh, and all of them are funded through a Kickstarter. And we're running a Kickstarter right now for four different anthologies. And I have here today one of our anchor authors for one of those four, uh, an anthology called Game On. And uh, the uh, theme of the anthology is uh, basically what the title says, games. Uh, so um, standard games could be things like chess and checkers uh, or a made up game, something that you've created for your particular world or your particular story. Okay, uh, the only real restriction on the games is it can't be anything that's licensed. Uh, we can't like have a, a like battle tech <laughs> story because <laughs> we don't have enough money to pay for the licensing fees. So uh, nothing like that'd be a whole different Kickstarter, right? Wouldn't it? Just to pay for those fees, that'd be yeah, huge. Yeah, it certainly wouldn't be a thirty thousand uh, uh, Kickstarter. It's going to be a lot more. If we need licensing fees. Uh, so nothing licensed. Uh, so you know. If you have something that's like a, a video game or something, make sure that the uh, serial numbers and everything are well scratched off uh, for your story. Um, and that goes for you too, Sean. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're here to talk to uh, Sean today uh, about uh, one of his books that's coming out here in the next week, actually. Probably by the time this is posted, we'll be days away from it. Um, it's called Honor Among Ghosts. So, uh, Sean, why don't you uh, introduce yourself, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself just in general, uh, and then focus in on uh, Honor Among Ghosts. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm Sean Williams. I'm uh, chatting to you from Adelaide in South Australia, the other end of the world, for a lot of uh, the supporters of the Kickstarter. Um, uh, thank you for those who've supported. Uh, really appreciate it. I'm really excited about writing this story. I, I have been writing for a while now. Um, I wish I could say I was an epic fantasy writer. It's just so neatly contained. I have written epic fantasy, but I've also written horror and science fiction and realism. I, I wrote some Star Wars novels. I collaborated on novels with Garth Nix. Some of those are in one of the the, the reward packages uh, uh, for this Kickstarter. Um, I, I do a little bit of everything. And um, my latest thing that I'm really in love with is writing uh, Middle grade fantasy for books set in sort of a, a fictionalized 19th century island. I spent a lot of time in Ireland uh, in the last few years before COVID hit. In fact, I flew back from Ireland on my last research trip, like just about the day the doors shut uh, in in uh, around the world. Uh, but I'm going back there later this year to, re to research another book. And the, the, this this new book, Honor Among Ghosts, is um, a side call to the. Uh, to the first novel that I wrote in this space. The, the first book was called Her Perilous Mansion and it came out March of 2020. And it's about two kids who get trapped in a house and can't get out. And uh, it happened at exactly the right time. I think it touched a bit of a chord <laughs> down here in Australia. Yeah. Um, and a little bit on the nose. <laughs> I know, right. I swear I didn't make it happen. It's None of this is my fault. <laughs> um, I, have to, I have to interject quick because I thought I made it happen because the ah. that was the year that we uh, released Apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course it was. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, keep going. <laughs> we can share the blame. Yeah. So uh, my publishers very quickly said, you know, this has done really well. It got nominated for a bunch of awards and uh, we'd like another one. Have you got one in mind? And I said, yes, in fact, I do have one. And um, uh, this is the new one, Honor Among Ghosts. And um, I've... One thing I really liked about the first book was that um, it was a fantasy novel set in a really constrained environment with a very small cast of characters. Yeah. Uh, and that gave me challenges I hadn't really had to face for a long time in terms of world building. How do you show a whole world when you can only see it through the eyes of kids in one space, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, I enjoyed that. I want to do it again, but I can't just do another house. You know, I don't want to do the same house. Uh, but in the first book, I mentioned a, a, a village nearby called Lower Rudmere. And I thought, well, if I'm going to go out further into the world, that's the logical next place to go. And I decided that, um, and I'm South Australian, right? So snow is a really rare thing for me. I didn't see snow properly until I went to Antarctica in 2017. So it was like from dry desert to Antarctica 
it was a huge shock to the system and I've been obsessed with Snow ever since. So I thought, let's snow them in. Let's uh, let's stick them in this small village, snow them in. Uh, uh, four kids this time instead of two. Um, there's a series of thefts around town that appear to be kind of Robin Hood style thefts from the rich to the poor. Um, but the, the poor people are being blamed for these thefts when in fact it appears to be a, a series of ghosts enacting these thefts. So uh, the kids have to try and work out what's actually going on and then stop it. So that's that's Honor Among Ghosts and, and that's coming out uh, yeah next week. Next week. I'm so excited to have this book out. Only available in Australia except through this Kickstarter. <laughs> How's that for a plug? Yes, we have a hook. We have a hook. <laughs> yes, so, there's yeah. a bundle where you can get both. You can get both the books. Let's do the, the thing where they sandwich me out of the view. You can get both of the books as part of that that bundle with with other books that I've uh, written in that space as well. Uh, yes, so. the, the if people are looking for it, it's the the Sean Williams middle grade zombie reward level, and uh, we should we should specify they're not getting the physical books. They're getting the ebooks. You Correct. can't. Yeah, you can't even get the ebooks in the U.S. So if you if you want the ebooks, the only way to get them in the U.S. and what the U.K. too. Correct. Yeah, yeah just uh, neatly hey, encapsulated hey. in Australia. At the <laughs> <laughs> so the only way to get them, if you're outside of Australia, is to back the Kickstarter for the Sean Williams Middle Grade Zombie Reward Level. Mm. Um, and uh, and then you'll get those plus, of course, the the anthologies from. Uh, the Kickstarter itself. Um, That's right, exactly. The all important item in this project. The, yeah, the no, books, no, the book. not the all important one. Uh, so, so let's talk about the four anthologies really quick. Mm. So uh, we're here obviously to talk about Game On uh, because you're in that one. Uh, the other yeah. three anthologies that we're kickstarting um, are Dragoness, which is supposed to be stories about dragons, but with a little qualifier, they have to be stories uh, significantly from the dragon's point of view. So a little, little restrictive there. Um, and then we have Artifice and Craft, which is uh, arts and craft creations that are somehow magical. So it can be they're enchanted or they're charmed, but you can go the other direction. You can have them hexed or cursed or something like that. Uh, so that's Artifice and Craft. <laughs> And uh, then the uh, last anthology, uh, the third anthology, uh, um, is uh, called Solar Flare. And uh, that's supposed to be solar punk uh, stories. Um, so those are the other three. Uh, mm. but we're here to talk mostly about Game On. And Sean has sort of an idea of what he wants to write for Game On. So tell, tell us what, uh, what your plans are at the moment. So one of the things that we had to do uh, as anchor authors uh, was kind of pick which game we might like to to play with in our story. And um, I picked hide and seek. Is that what you call it in the States elsewhere? Hide and seek or hide yep, and go seek? Hide and seek. Um, yeah, hide and seek, great, excellent. Because um, I figure it's a universal game. Everybody's played it. What will that look like in a science fiction setting? Mm -hmm. uh, so so that's the core idea I've been, um, been pondering for weeks now. Uh, and the way I kind of approach ideas is they usually don't come in 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 a blast out of nowhere. That a lot of them come from dreams, like her perilous mansion came from a dream. I had a dream about those kids. Uh, I had a dream that inspired the magic system. Everything kind of arose from there over months and months and months. With this story, the idea is hide and seek, but in space, what would that look like? And it's been sort of churning away in my brain for weeks now. And um, um I have a couple of ex existing universes that I've written into quite a lot that always seem to call me back. One, one is the, the world of Twin Maker with matter transmitters because I love matter transmitters. My PhD is in matter transmitters. I'm obsessed <laughs> with matter transmitters. There's no story that wouldn't be improved by the presence of matter transmitters. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that's a little bit obsessive. So I, I, kind of, <laughs> I kind of was wanting to play with matter transmitters, but a story wasn't coming. So I thought, well, how about I shift across to another one of my universes, um, which is the structure universe, which uh, is a uh, like a portal science fiction, a maze, an intergalactic, inter-universal kind of maze that connects different. I mean, imagine playing hide and seek in a space like that. Again, a story hasn't really come, although there are lots of thoughts, lots of ideas. I'm torn from one universe to another. 
uh, haven't been able to settle. And I'm a little bit aware that the deadline is not infinitely far off into the future. <laughs> I, I, no. I need to start thinking about what this story will be. So I'm appealing to the public for help and public and everybody. Um, this is open to everybody, uh, my peers and, and readers and uh, backers of the, the, the Kickstarter. I've um, started a, a survey monkey quiz that has some questions um, uh, uh, that will help you help me write the story. Uh, for instance, you can even suggest a title if you like, because I find sometimes being given a title and being told to write a story based on that can be really inspiring. Um, you can choose, you can suggest what kind of character might be there. You can, you can suggest whether it should be an action piece, like a roller coaster, roller coasting kind of action story or a reflective philosophical story. I expect we're going to get lots of votes for, you know, I can sort of anticipate where these votes might go, <laughs> but you never know. Right. So, um, open ending, closed ending questions like that, you know, will get me really thinking. And, and if you want to be credited as a co-contributor, uh, there's that option as well. You can leave your name and uh, we'll make sure that happens somewhere. Uh, yeah, well, uh, in, in every anthology, we always have at least an author bio and um, so minimum and the author bio, but uh, we can also probably put it in the kind of like a byline on the story itself too. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that's easy yeah. enough. So this would be fun. I mean, I love collaborating. I think collaborating is a, is a great way to generate ideas and a great way to uh, to learn new skills uh, and a great way to create stories that you never would have created in the first place. And that's that's something that I found working with Star Wars and Doctor Who and working with Garth and, and Shane and other collaborators I've worked with. I did a collaboration um, maybe 10 years ago where um, it was a collaboration through our, our major paper in Adelaide called The Advertiser. And um, I created a uh, world and wrote the first chapter of a story and then every day a different group of kids in a different school wrote the next chapter uh -huh. and over a month this novel unfolded this short novel unfolded in the pages of the newspaper uh, so I collaborated with several hundred kids on this story and their school teachers and it went as you as you'd imagine into some very very strange <laughs> spaces <laughs> uh, of course uh, yeah, so, but there, it was an incredible experience uh, collaborating with so many people um, and trying to make it work for everyone. It was absolutely fantastic. So I've never done anything like this before, though. I've never done a survey and said, hey, I'm going to try and make you all happy. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> with the knowledge that I probably won't make everybody happy, but I'll give it a good crack. Yes. And we'll, and we'll put uh, the link when like we post this video or whatever. I'll put the link along with the video. And uh, so people should be able to grab that link there and uh and go help you out uh figure out what yes please do right <laughs> please do so, i'd appreciate it <laughs> i don't know if i had to choose i i'm the one that that piqued my interest the most was probably the the one with the portals playing hide and seek in the universe with all the portals intergalactic and all that kind of stuff so well, spoiler least, alert that, that is that the one i latched on to but i'm not that, an editor for this anthology so <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> but you can vote. You can make the story be what you want it to be. And that that option is in the lead at the moment. So if you're if you're watching this and you're as passionately into matter transmitters as I am, <laughs> uh, get in and vote and get all your friends to vote for it too. <laughs> <laughs> you're as bad as with matter transmitters as I am with math. You know, I have that PhD oh, yeah. in math and my next my next fantasy trilogy is gonna have uh, some of my um dissertation research in it <laughs> fantastic <laughs> well that should be interesting <laughs> what do they call that new money for old rope we reuse stuff again uh, yes something yes. like that <laughs> may as well combine all of our passions right <laughs> yeah absolutely well i look forward to reading that i love math too i think uh <laughs> yeah, writing my, the... next Sorry. year yeah I'm, I'm hoping it's out next year um so yes, uh, so help him out. Go uh, take the poll and uh, and and weigh in on what you think this story story should be all about. Um, if you want to support the Kickstarter, uh, like he said, we at the time we filmed this, we were just over eighteen thousand, but we're shooting for thirty thousand, so still quite a ways to go. Um, and we of course could use uh, the help. Uh, so if you uh, want to back the Kickstarter, uh, you can find us at 
tinyurl.com slash ZNB Kickstarter 2022. Uh, so again, that's uh, tinyurl.com slash ZNB Kickstarter 2022. Um, if you're interested in any of Sean Williams stuff, he has offered up a ton of uh, <laughs> reward levels. Uh, mm. As he mentioned earlier, he's, he's got a lot of interests and a lot of uh, different genres and stuff. So like there's a reward uh, level for the epic fantasy and there's a reward level for short stories and there's mm. a reward level for, well, the middle grade, obviously. Um, but there's like science fiction and matter transmitters. Uh, so yes, there's a whole reward level just for matter transmitters. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and another passion of his that he has not mentioned is also music. Yes. Uh, so there's a reward level where you can get some of uh, your music. So uh, can do you want to talk a little bit about your music? Oh, yeah, for sure. So all, all I, I mean, when I was a teenager, um, I used to make weird music uh, using cassette decks and... Uh, this is back in the day when cut and splice actually meant cutting the tape and splicing it together with tape and uh, <laughs> worked in a studio and did music at school and uh, uh, wasn't my first love, but it, but it came very quickly my second love and I studied music at university, I won a Young Composers Award, but at the same time I was writing and writing kind of took over. Writing was the thing that really took off for me and uh, uh, I pursued that. But uh, later, uh, later in life I found little ways to keep involved in music and Recently, particularly when COVID hit, I thought, let's give it a real crack. And, you know, bought Ableton, bought a decent computer, bought, you might be able to see in the background, I've got a bunch of sort of guitars and things there. Started really seriously mucking around with music. And uh, uh, and now I'm up to, I think, nine albums on Project Records, which is one of the, the oldest and uh, most prestigious sort of ambient electronic uh, music labels. Uh, in the world, uh, which I'm absolutely stoked about. I'm making the music that I love. I always listen to ambient music when I write. So I decided, well, I'll try and create, create the music that I like. So I, yeah. I kind of make music for those guys. I make some weird, strange stuff for me. Um, and there's a mixture of that available through this Kickstarter. So if you like music that you can drift off to or work to or read to or just generally chill out to, then I've got a lot of that available uh, but not under my name so there are a lot of sean williams's out there let me tell you <laughs> there's so <laughs> many of them i got incredibly lucky and got the seanwilliams.com url uh, and i get a lot of messages from people saying damn you <laughs> curse you uh so i couldn't be a, a musician called sean williams because there are so many already so i had to come up with another name and because i'm in adelaide uh and adelaide is my home i've lived here most of my life and for a long time adelaide sean was my handle to separate myself from other Sean's on other social medias. So I thought uh, I'd take the name off um, a building that was being built in Adelaide, um, which is the tallest building in Adelaide now. And it's just called the Adelaidean. And I thought, well, there's an opportunity for a photo, right? Me in front of, if yeah. I choose the name, the Adelaidean, I can have a photo in front of that building with my name on the sign, yeah. sadly. Yeah. They didn't have the signing right. Somebody else bought it. So it's called <laughs> the Adelaidean, but there isn't a giant sign. So now I'm just called the Adelaidean. No one knows it's me. Uh, <laughs> but that's who I am. So, um, yeah, I hope I hope if anybody buys this stuff um, or uh, uh, supports the Kickstarter and gets one of those packages that they like it, because I I love making this stuff and um, I love it as much as I'm writing books. So yeah, yeah, and on the Kickstarter, it's called the the Sean Williams Music uh, Zombie Reward Levels. So yeah. Sean Williams <laughs> Music one. Um, yes. But yeah, tons and tons, and I should probably say on here that if you want more than one of the Sean Williams reward levels, then just send me a message on Kickstarter and we can uh, figure out how to work that out. Um, there's certainly a way to do it, um, and I can let you know uh, if you want more than one of those Sean Williams ones. I'm, I'm being visited by my dog. <laughs> yeah, hello. What's your dog's name? What's uh... Pippi. Come here, Pip. Come here. Ah, fantastic. Pippi deserves to be in the show, too. Do you come and see me? No. Ooh. No. No. She wants to be she heard, not seen. She thinks I'm going to do something to her. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. we certainly have lots of reward packages. You know, whatever you like. There's, I've probably got one there for you. So there's, there's, yeah, straight up science fiction, straight up fantasy, short stories, you name it. It's, it's kind of all there. Lots of space opera. If you like space opera, that's kind of yeah. where I cut my teeth on science fiction. Lots of big million year in the future kind of 
end of the universe sort of stuff. I wrote a lot of those books with a fellow called Shane Dix and they're all there. So um, including uh, there's a series I wrote called Astropolis um, that's currently unavailable in the US. And one of my characters in there speaks only in the lyrics of Gary Newman. So if you want to see <laughs> something crazy like that, the sort of thing you do when you want to change up your voice and uh, and make life really hard for yourself, that's yeah. the series. <laughs> yeah as a writer when you put a restriction on a character like that like i mean i i think there's lots of warnings out there to like never say a character must always speak in rhyme and and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> it might sound good when you first start doing it and it might be interesting when you first start doing it but when you when you hit the end of the book you're like why did i do this <laughs> And then you've got to make sure that every time an editor goes over over it, they don't change anything. So yeah. therefore, it's not in rhyme or not a Gary Newman lyric. It's uh, yeah. why why do we do this? Why do why do we as artists make life hard for ourselves? Because it's interesting, I guess. But you know, yeah, we're we're, we're it sounded interesting, and we said let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, I love writing those books. So yeah. So yes. Head on over to the Kickstarter, uh, back it. Uh, Please like do. I said, we, we've still got a ways to go. Um, and we are, the clock is ticking. So we're running out of time. Um, and look, I really want to write this story. I really want to write the story. I, I really want to read everybody else's stories. You know, please, please fund us. Make yes. it possible. <laughs> I want to write this story with everybody else. So it'd be yeah. very sad if I could make sure you swing on by and and help sean write the story so uh, go ahead and take that survey okay and uh um and and just check out all all of the reward levels not just sean williams we got a ton of re reward levels okay and uh if we happen to make the goal uh sean has some stretch goals as well that we can uh, try to reach for um so keep in mind that some of the some of the rewards in sean's uh reward levels are uh the only way to get the book if you live in the US or uh, the UK. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. um, I want to thank you, Sean, for being here and uh, and doing this, My pleasure. this little video. And uh, I, again, I'm, I'm, I hope we fund. I certainly want to read your stories. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope we fund too. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to be uh, a part of a staple of really great authors. You know, uh, yes. ZMB makes such amazing books and uh, to be invited to be part of one of them is, you know, such a such a thrill. So thank you. Oh, we love we love making the book. I love making the books. That's why I created the company in the first place. So yeah, uh, ten years, so. ten years, ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. How amazing is that? <laughs> yeah, and a small press lasting ten years is just amazing all by itself. <laughs> Absolutely, it is. <laughs> so yes, everybody, head on out, take that survey, back the Kickstarter. Okay, check out some of Sean Williams' books, not just the ones we mentioned here, but all of his books uh, and his music. And uh, I hopefully I'll see you as a backer on the Kickstarter. Okay, catch everybody later. Thank you. See ya. Bye.